Well, how's it going, everyone? It's been a while since my last video. Um, just had a bunch of stuff going on. Haven't really been able to get out um, and film. I've had a bunch of guide trips. Um, there's been a couple times, not gonna lie. I've, I've got out a couple times. Just I tried to film once um, and we ended up catching one fish last time I was down here on the river. It was a nice little steelhead, um, but for some reason, I didn't make actual make the video. Um, I don't know what the reason was. I think maybe my audio on my GoPro was all jacked up and I couldn't fix it. And so it wasn't really worth, you know, making a video, but we're here in March. We're gonna go, you know, steelhead fishing, maybe striper fishing. Um, you know, I, it's a little early for stripers, not gonna lie, it's a little early, but I'm gonna give it a try um, and hopefully, hopefully catch one. Um, no, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm not expecting too much, but we're going to make a bunch of calves. Um, my buddy Kirby, he's not quite here yet. He's going to meet me down a lower section um, here soon. I just got to get the boat ready, get in the water um, and whatnot. But got a few rods today. I'll show you kind of what I, what I got tied on. You know, obviously we're steelhead fishing, so I got the mag lips, just a 3.5 mag lip, uh, a couple different colors tied on. I always start off with two different colors, you know, kind of running down some of these little um, runways and trying to figure out what the, what these fish want. So I just got that one, I got a pink one. Um, of course, I can't go anywhere, you know, when I'm, steel, when I'm fishing these rivers or fishing any river, you know, if I'm fishing for steelhead, I gotta have a Clio. Gotta have a Clio tied on, love a Clio, you know, and that's kind of it for steelhead. You know we're gonna we're gonna be fishing kind of faster and um through some of these runs and then we're gonna fish in the deeper holes and chase some stripers um got an a rig for stripers um, the reason why i like an a rig so much is you know got a bunch of salmon fry steelhead you know are in the river but little ones smolts and they're like eight to ten inches um eight to twelve inches or so but the a rig r r matches those salmon fry so well but I have another bait here that <laughs> resembles, I mean, that's not a steelhead, you know, but it's a profile, you know, it's a big profile, like it, the baby steelhead and the steelhead smolts. So got a couple, you know, different baits tied on and, uh, you know, we're gonna float down the river and see what happens, you know, excited to see, you know, how the river looks. Last time I, I filmed, I think the river was at like 1300 CFS, 1700 CFS, something like that. And the water came up about, you know, to 3,000, held there for a week, and then it jumped to 6,000. And then it's been 6,000 pretty much, you know, from, what, February, middle of February, all the way till about middle of March. And then they dropped it to 5,000, which 5,000 is still a good, really good water level. Um, but, you know, this is, time, this is the time of year where it's kind of the end of steelhead season the very, very beginning of, of Striper. So it's kind of like in between seasons. So I'm not expecting too much, but regardless, I got a good buddy hopping in the boat today and uh, hopefully we catch some fish, you know, who knows? We're just gonna float down the river and have a good time. So stay tuned, let's go catch some fish. No, the hatchery's not going anymore. I wonder if I can get up that with my motor. Should I just try rowing up? Trying to go up top? Try to like just fish this and then like them come down and fish the seam. We're gonna try it. Water looks good though. Yeah, it does. Good color for sure. Yeah, good color. Clean. 
but a little bit deeper water looks a little that green, that steely green. I don't know. Looks good. Quite a few boats on the water today. Which is surprising. I thought we we're gonna have it to ourselves. A lot more than I thought. <clears throat> kind of late in the season, but I think there's almost five boats, including us. I so think, I think everybody knows you can't catch them from the couch. No, oh, that's right. You can't. Gotta get out here. So, all right, let's slide over and see if we can catch one. Let's get her done. Fifty-five. 50, 50 and 55, eight. I don't know. Gosh, that is a football, dude. Like, doesn't I can't even get it in the net. <laughs> that thing airborne like four times. Oh, hopefully this camera got it. That camera at an angle. It's a wide view, but oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Five That's crazy. That's cool. You're like, we're gonna slide. We're gonna get one right here. You called over there, but oh my god, twenty yards. Away. That is crazy. Wow. What a specimen of a fish that's cool man he's built thick dude. built hey phone's ringing i'm busy i'm on the other line <laughs> <laughs> man pretty cool boats here and there just got started for the most part and haven't even been fishing probably 10 minutes right Maybe i mean from start that. yeah we just, yeah not even 10 minutes that was, that was pretty quick cool. Probably the only one we'll get all day, though. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> hey, at least it wasn't first cast, right? You made a couple casts of the Clio. Got that out of the way. Got yeah. that out of the way. So we still have quite a bit of river left. I do have to get off the water around 2 o'clock, so we, we have to push through some of this stuff kind of quick. But uh, pretty cool we got one, you know. So now it would be cool if we caught a striper. Oh, yeah. That would be cool to catch a striper as well. Yeah, we could definitely do that. So, but like I said, I don't like to bonk too many of these things. You know, I think, you know, I bonked three the entire year you know uh kirby bonked one i got one and a buddy of mine got got one but um regardless you know i mean they're here to to catch and you know if we want to keep them we can keep them you know like i said i try not to keep too many a year just because i feel like the, the numbers are low uh, but they are really good eating you know really good eating and i like to keep one or two you know one at the max you know for myself but um that was cool that was a nice football Let's uh, we gotta slide down. Maybe get another one, huh? We still got some good water right in between here in that rift too. Yes, we do. Ready for the old spot and stalk? <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, here we go. See if we can find one. Anything? Probably nope. spooked anything. Scared them. scared them all. Do you see one? Yeah. You're lying. No, I'm just I don't see it. Oh, I see it. Uh, oh, I do. It looks like a carp, though. Yeah, I didn't see what yeah. it was. I just saw the silhouette of it. Is it? Yeah, it looks like a carp. Right where I said, like 20 feet left? Yeah. Yeah, I saw it moving. Got me excited there for a second. I, I, didn't, I was just excited. Get the camera rolling. Like, oh, I see one. Like, no, you're lying. I didn't see what it was. I said <laughs> there's one. <laughs> well, I want to see a couple more. And well, yeah, I'm gonna hop back in the the vessel and float on down river. Get back to vesseling. Yeah, I think so. Let's get down there and go fish this run. Doesn't look good. Yeah, they're everywhere. It's kind of cool. Same? Yeah, you want oh, oh no, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, do the right one is 50 or one. Left one is 50, whatever one. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one. Still on there? No, it's a small. Dang. It came up to the top, I saw it. I, no, that looked like the plug that came up to the top. I saw the flash. Oh, you saw the flash? Yeah. I saw the plug come up. Kind of unexpected. Right where I got that one with the client. Well, a little mid-trip update. Kirby, how you feeling about it? It's been a good day so far, man. We got a, one good steelhead, seven pounder probably on a plug. So for this late in the season, it's kind of surprising. So, yeah. It's been fun so far. We, yeah. got, we got a little time left though. Yeah, we got plenty of time left. I mean, this is kind of like you said, the tail end of the season. We do have a spring run of fish that kind of come up. Uh, they're a lot smaller grade fish, but you know, obviously the one we caught was absolutely a specimen. Um, but we caught a had, had a few small bites, little guy, little steelhead, uh, only I would say 10 to 12 inches. There was a bunch of them in the river. They dumped them um, back in the end of January, early February. They dumped like five, a little over 500,000 of those smolts. So there's quite a few of them swimming around. So they kind of keep us entertained for a, <laughs> for a while. And then, you know, every once in a while, you're like, oh, it's just another smolt. And then all of a sudden a giant one gets airborne. You're like, oh, that's a, that's a big one, you know, but, um, like I said, we have a, a little bit of river left. You know, time's kind of ticking away. I got to get off the water kind of early today. So, you know, hopefully we get one, you know, one more. You know, maybe a striper. We, there's a couple striper holes I want to fish pretty hard. But um, we already threw the A-rigs around, the glide baits around, just for a few casts, but nothing yet. But um, the day's looking good. The conditions are looking good. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful spring morning. I mean, the fishing just about, when oh, there's smolt jump right over there. I mean, the fishing just about everywhere is good right now. You know, striper's about to go off. You know, the deltas are, they're already catching them down on the delta and up on the, you know, up in the, up on the feather. And uh, I've heard there's a few fish caught here on, you know, the river that we're fishing here. Um, 
you know the bat you know bass fishing just everywhere is popping off you know march is a good time to just get out in the water and go fishing in general so today's a beautiful day you know hopefully we catch a couple more what do you think herb feel good about it feels fishy it does stay tuned Looks like you got the hooks pretty good, huh? Oh, yeah. A little smolty. Oh, not bad. Yeah, nice little fish. Go get good. bigger, dude. See me see me next year, the year after that. Be like three to seven pounds. We'll be waiting for them. Well, that is a wrap for today man we had a fun time it was uh, a little slow you know but that's what's you know expected this time of year it's not gonna be red hot we decided just to come out and give it a shot for you know a couple hours to see if we can gotta get or if we can get a nice one um, which we were very fortunate kirby got that nice one the first 10 minutes or so of the day we, we got that nice one. Uh, team, effort. team effort team effort i guess he hooked it i netted it <laughs> team effort we both got one i guess <laughs> but uh you put the plug in the right spot i guess yeah whatever give you the credit I don't know. You casted it out there. <laughs> but, uh, man, uh, we tried some striper fishing. Didn't didn't catch any stripers, but it's still a little early. The water's really cold. Um, but there, any day, I guarantee any day they're going to show up. It's supposed to get really warm here the next few days. I mean, it's, what, two days ago, my truck said it was 81 degrees. Yesterday was 75. Today, you know, we're in shorts and a T-shirt. Like, this war water's going to be warming up pretty quick, and the stripers are going to be here before we know it. And so will the shad. Um and that and talking about shad and stripers i will be guiding for uh, for shad and stripers um so if you want to book a trip just reach out to my you know social media pages um i'll leave an email down below for you guys to reach out if you guys want to book a trip shad fishing sounds fun yeah it's I'm to that. there's gonna be thousands of them in the river and it's gonna be lights out i think so it was pretty pretty busy this year for steelhead to be honest for my first first season it was uh pretty nice you know so appreciate all you guys supporting and booking trips and looking forward to striper and shad season um spending some time with you guys and and catching some fish so uh regardless had a good time down the water looking forward to next time not too sure when the next time is going to be um actually going to be a dad here soon my uh my wife's pregnant and uh she's due this month so she could pop any time and uh i'm gonna be my hands full for a little bit but if you still want to book a trip reach out and I'll see if I can schedule schedule you in for a trip. So, good job today, Curb, on that nice one. And uh, that was cool for a late season steelhead. That was a <laughs> nice that was one. Trip too. That was a nice fish for a late season fish, you know. But um, yeah, that's it for today. Hope you guys liked the video, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.